Shut up and sit down. Hello everyone, I am the CyberWave Guru. Welcome to my channel. I appreciate you watching. I'm um, do a couple videos here, probably going to be a multi-part video on making the animated Christmas lights that I've been working on. Started the project last year, um, didn't get it finished in time for Christmas, so I'm going to finish it up this year. So I'm going to walk you real uh, quick through kind of the, the major components that I've been working on, and I just want to show it to you real quick because we have uh, most of the parts done now. So start off. Uh, let me grab this guy right here. This is actually a combination of a 5 volt power supply and a node MCU uh, module on the bottom here. You can see it is a printed circuit board that I actually made uh, to serve as a kind of a motherboard, for lack of a better term, for the module that uh, brings the power out and brings the connectors out. And then actually there's a little space for a capacitor here to uh, do some decoupling off the, uh, the power supply that's required. Um, turns out I've futzed around with this <laughs> module for a year now and uh, you know, no matter what capacitor I seem to use it doesn't really seem to have the desired effect. Uh, but you can see here I have this kind of temporarily wired, in, wired into these um, 12 millimeter LEDs that I got uh, off of Alibaba. Um, fairly inexpensively. I want to say they were uh, certainly less than ten dollars a strip uh, or string. There's a 50 LEDs here, uh, three inch centers. Um, so, so, uh, so that's the first part. This is the kind of the, the guts of it, if you want to look at it that way. Um, the power supply, obviously, five volt. Uh, in this case, uh, let me see this here. It is a uh, five volts, four amps. Um, I also have a 6 amp version. 4 amps will drive uh, about 60 to 70 LEDs or so um, and the 6 amp will go up to 120, 130 or so LEDs. Um, in addition to that, I also purchased, uh, found these also on Alibaba. I got a pretty good steal on these, um, these boxes. They are amazing. They are weatherproof. You can see the black strip here in the bottom. That's a weatherproofing strip. Um, nice clear front um, and a super, super solid bottom. You can see, um, or you can't see as it turns out, uh, there's no holes that go through. So there are mounting holes in the back and mounting holes in the front. No holes penetrate. Keeps it completely and utterly uh, weather tight. So once you put the lid on, you lock it down with the uh, these really kind of crazy um, plastic screws. Uh, torque it down, um, super weather tight. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, the power supply, stick it in here, mount the Node MCU on top. Uh, I have some connectors, uh, which I also have. Stand by. Uh, surprisingly, also got from Alibaba. Also amazing connectors. These things are fantastic. Um, searched high and low for something like this. So what we have is, I'll show it to you, this is actually uh, the connector. It's wet, completely and utterly wet, weatherproof. Um, uh, it screws open, pulls apart just like this. They come in multiple pin sizes. In this case, I got three pins. Uh, the, the, the string that I have is three pins. Um, the turns out the power, also three pins. So this is perfect for my uh, application. If you have a clocked version of the uh, RGB LEDs and you need four pins for your LEDs, three pins will still work for uh, your power. So what happens here is this, actually you can see the nut here, this will screw to the side of the wall and then you plug this guy in. It's uh, keyed, so you, you always attach it and then it spins in here, it's super tight. Um, there's also a waterproof gasket on this side, the wires come in from this side and then you screw this down, it tightens it down. And then one other cool feature, which I didn't, uh, not part of the design spec, as it were, <laughs> uh, such that it is. Um, so if you pull this guy out, there's this nice little cap. Um, when you take everything apart, you can stick the cap on, and then it closes it down. So if for whatever reason you want to leave your uh, box outside and not have anything connected to it, um, that is something you can do. All right, uh, so last part, um, I have uh, 
broken my connector here. We'll have to fix that later. Uh, last part is just this piece that I milled on my uh, Shapeoko CNC. Uh, it is a base unit which fits conveniently inside the device, inside the box here. Um, two screws attached on the top and the bottom, and then the other screws are for mounting the power supply. And then I'm just going to uh, put the uh, Node MCU on top, probably tape it on or something. We'll figure out exactly how I'm going to mount the Node MCU. Um, it wasn't um, something that I've thought about a lot, to be quite honest with you. So, um, but anyway, that's where we are right now with this uh, this project. So, I'm going to put all these parts together. Uh, make a couple uh, videos, maybe a time lapse if I get lucky of me putting one of the boxes together, and then um, also uh, a final sort of uh, show and tell of all the piece parts, and then some sort of video of, of the outcome. So I appreciate you watching. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. As always, if you don't like the video, appreciate the thumbs up anyway. Please subscribe. It's going to be in that corner. Um, and then look for links to other videos, um, probably in that corner, um, for the follow-ons. So I appreciate your time. Thank you and have a great night.